I'm going to tell you about the component parts that go into a tire and an overview of how a typical passenger car tire is made. There are over 200 different raw materials that go into the making of a tire. These include natural rubbers, synthetic rubbers, carbon fibers, silica, other fillers, sulfur, waxes, and for the structure of the tire, we have different materials like polyester, rayon, aramid, steel cables, steel wires, which all go to make a tire. The first part of the process is processing these materials to make the different component parts of the tire. These component parts are then assembled one by one on a drum. The first part to be built on a drum is the inner liner. The inner liner replaces a conventional tube. It helps to hold the air in the tire. The second layer to be applied is what's called the casing or the carcass. These are the beads, the bead wires, the sidewall components and the sidewall rubber itself. These are fabric coats embedded in rubber and the layer that is applied ensures that the cords go from one bead all the way across to the other bead in subsequent layers. The tire is then conformed on the drum. In other words, the drum is squeezed together, so the structure has now taken the shape or the form of a tire. Next things to be applied are the bracing plies, which are steel cables, steel cables embedded in rubber. These form the structure under the tread of the tire. Finally, cords at zero degrees to the direction of rotation are applied, which help to overcome the centrifugal forces. Finally, the tread rubber is applied. At this stage, there are no markings on the tire, no tread pattern. These will be enforced on the rubber in the mold. This tire is now put into a mold and it's cured at a high temperature and high pressure for the final vulcanization which will give the tire its final shape, form and markings.